So I just thought that maybe you guys should know there's another car in my storage unit that you guys don't know about. And I'll show you guys why I haven't said anything about it in just a second. But I'll also say a couple things about it before we get to the storage unit itself. Let me roll the windows up so we can get some better audio. Uh, let me roll, so this particular car is, uh, it's got no engine. Hopefully I can get into the storage unit at this time of day. I hope I can. Haha! It worked! Oh, it's it's freaking out because I don't have my seatbelt on at the moment. But I'm just driving through the... I, I, I wish I could talk to it and be like, bro, I'm just driving through the storage unit, like, complex. I, I, you can chill, but it has no chill because it's, it's, it's very safe and it wants me to be safe and I've disappointed it by not being as safe as humanly possible. Oh, it's angry again. Right. It, oh God. Oh my God. What the? Holy Jesus. Ugh. So there's that. It isn't mine before y'all go crazy. Uh... So yeah, what you're looking at here is a FCR X7. It is not mine, um, as many of you may, well, you're like, why the heck did he get a project, like another project car? No, 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 this isn't my car. Um, this actually, this car behind me, actually belongs to a friend of mine named Dylan. He has a, when he bought this car, he had a Fiesta ST, and he now has a ND Miata. And so he's kind of figuring out what to do with the FC. Um, he's He was originally going to LS swap it, and then that kind of, that idea kind of, went on the back burner when he bought the ND, and now he's kind of planning to uh, to mod the ND. So that we'll have to wait and see what he ends up doing with that. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think he should do. Do you guys think he should actually build his ND Miata, or do you think he should turn that into a LS swapped, like, 400 horsepower track monster or something. I keep telling him to build the ND because he's more interested in the ND than he is in this FC. But that, again, that depends. Cause like, I, I, I know that his heart is in the ND and not the FC, which sometimes, you know, that can be like, oh, what do you mean his heart's in the ND and not this FC? Well, you can just tell with the way he talks about the ND versus the way he talks about that car. So honestly, like, it's, it, it just depends on, it just depends on like which car you really, really love and want to put time into. Now, I'm actually here because I have this Jay's Racing test pipe for the S2000 that I kind of want to do something with. I kind of want to use it um, on the car, but it currently has that origin fabrication exhaust on it, but I kind of want to change it up a little bit. And the stock exhaust is sitting right here, and kind of I think what I want to do is run the stock exhaust and the Jay's test pipe. I mean, it's just a simple exhaust swap, and I kind of want to put it on and see what it sounds like. And by the way, while we're in here, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, some of the parts that you guys, will, you guys remember what these came from. This is, this dirt right here is dirt from... Well, it's dirt from a ditch um, in North Carolina, and it's dirt that was acquired on a uh, an interesting night. These are the tires. These are the Triple Eight tires that were on the FRS um, that particular night of the deer encounter. And then over here, there's just a couple of spare parts. This is the uh, the stock FRS tail lights. You know, there's some rotors on in here actually for an FRS, and there's just a couple other things. There's like just some stuff in there that like there's actually the old FRS harnesses are in there, but they're since you know they've since been used and they don't need to be used again. I'm gonna be getting different sets of harnesses for the S2000, and then over here 
There's like some pieces of the old turbo kit, like the turbo header and everything like that. There's some stock suspension bits. All of this stuff, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with yet, so I'm kind of thinking about um, thinking about what I'm what I kind of want to do with it. And I've got some friends down here that like I've I've given some of these parts to different friends of mine. So kind of uh, kind of figuring out what I'm gonna do with the rest of them. And then, but you guys will like I said, I'll keep you guys updated, and you'll see it in vlogs because I'm trying to do more vlogs like more often more vlogs more often because I feel like some of that you know real life car content has gone away from the channel a little bit and I want to bring it back so that's where that's kind of where we're sitting on the S2000 exhaust type thing because we did spring a little bit of an exhaust leak so I want to go ahead and figure out what's going on there plus at the same time I want to put that Jay's test pipe on with the stock exhaust and see how that sounds but uh, but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get firstly I gotta find the keys. Where did I put them? Oh crap. Oh, they're all the way back here in the back of the storage unit. Oh. You kinda have to have those. Uh, you kinda have to have those storage keys if you're gonna actually, you know, well, use your storage unit. But we're gonna go ahead and close this thing up and uh, we're gonna say bye to the RX-7 for now. We're gonna say bye to the RX-7 for now, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on what on what Dylan decides to do with this car, but... Oh. oh, come on. There we go. So we're back home now, and as you can probably see, it, the lighting's a little bit weird because it's dark outside, and then I have this bright light on above me, and my camera battery light is actually flashing at me, so I have no idea how long this battery's gonna last. But I actually, it's funny because, like, I have, so, after going and, you know, messing with all of that exhaust stuff, I kind of figured that I'm either going to do the stock catback with the Jay's test pipe, or just a completely stock set up because I'm kind of debating in my mind whether or not I want to run a Jay's 60 RS and if I run a Jay's 60 RS then I would retain like say for example the rest of like everything forward of the 60 RS would retain stock and so and the other thing too is I don't know if the 60 RS would be too loud for AMP with the test pipe but later on after we get all that figured out if I can get my camera to focus. There we go. It, once I get that all figured out, we're gonna try and get up to Bridge Moto and get the seats and harnesses figured out and handled, because what I wanna do is I wanna do two seats and two sets of harnesses all at the same time so we can get that done and out of the way because I want the car much, 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 much more track prepped uh, leading into this season because honestly, the stock seats, when you're going, you know, when you're going at a pretty good pace on track, the stock seats, suck they really do the stock seats suck and you have to kind of like i mean they're not they're not like v6 mustang bad but you're still doing this in the seat you know i'm gonna make i'm gonna make you all seasick but no you're still like sliding all over the place in the seat and it's not the best option in terms of actual performance driving so i want to get i want to get a set of the bridge moto seats in there and also the other reason why i want to get the set of bridge moto seats in there is because they are completely carbon fiber so they weigh about like 10 pounds a piece like 9 10 pounds a seat uh, a piece uh, per seat so you think 20 pounds for two seats that's like i mean that's that's got to be less than one of the stock seats. I have never weighed the stock seats, but I, I, you gotta imagine that they weigh more than more than that. But I mean, I would have to look and actually like weigh one and verify it. But I'm excited to see what comes of the spring season with the car. I'm possibly gonna run the iTrack um, track challenge, the first the first event in the iTrack track challenge at Atlanta Motorsports Park. And if I do that, the, the, only th the only thing that I really technically need need to do in order to do that is to sort out my exhaust. If I sort out my exhaust, I can run that event. So that's the plan right now is to sort, sort that out. And then once I sort that out, I'll get all signed up for track challenge. And depending on whether or not I can uh, get the exhaust sorted in time, because I'm trying to handle a bunch of other, like, bunch of other projects with like the channel right now. So if I can handle some of those projects, because I'm trying to, 
I'm trying to figure out what other games I want to incorporate into my channel because we've been doing Forza for so long. We've been doing, you know, Spin Tires and Mud Runner for so long. Kind of want to incorporate something else in there, but I'm not sure what to incorporate. So I'm working on a bunch of different things behind the scenes. And if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And don't worry, the vlog channel is still a very possible thing, a very possible idea. But I'm going to start posting the vlogs on here for a little while so you guys kind of get used to the idea of you know, me actually vlogging, and so you guys can also, so more of you can see what I'm doing with this idea, and then I'm going to start, and then I'm going to start, like, bring, trying to bring that, a little bit of that over once I make the vlog channel, so that'll be something interesting to do, and see, you know, see how it goes, see how you guys like it, and if you guys want me to keep the vlogs here, I might just keep the vlogs here so you don't have to subscribe in a different place, but that's, again, that's up to you guys. I want to hear your feedback on it. But if you guys enjoyed this quick vlog, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more, more of, of, of this stuff and things. But again, I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.